Hi guys, this is Ash here, and uh, I just got a new PS3, and this is the 160 gig version. So since I have a 500 gig uh, laptop, uh, 2.5 inch hard disk lying around, I thought I'll swap it, and I thought I'll make a little video on how do we actually how do we actually go ahead and do this. So guys, what we need to do in order to swap hard disks is uh, first off uh, since this is a new PS3 I'm not gonna go ahead and back up anything uh, but if you guys uh, have been using it for some time you can go ahead and uh, do a backup onto an external drive uh, before you go ahead and swap hard disks so uh, once you guys have done that uh, what you need to do is just uh, turn your PS3 around and then uh, get a get a flathead screwdriver let me quickly get one enough oh, one sec and I'll just pop it in over here and pop this out and right now uh, you'll see a screw over here so what you need to do is get a uh, star screwdriver one that looks like this and just unscrew the screw so guys the next thing you do is you just you see this part over here you just slide it off and remove it and uh, you see just pop this out and pull this out so this is a 2.5 inch hard disk so uh, there are four screws on the back all you need to do is just unscrew these so once you've done this you can just pop this out this way and right now take your uh, higher capacity hard disk this is the 160 gig one that came with my PS3 and this is a 500 gig one that I already have so what you do with this right now is just pop it back in this way once that's done get the screws back and put it on So now once you've done this, just pop this back in and uh, push this back inside. Guys, just to let you know, uh, when you're pushing it back in, you see this, this is what's gonna go over here. So that you can screw, we can screw it into place. Push it in firmly and just put this back in place and uh, put this back first slide it back in and right now get the blue screw that we unscrewed at the start and screw it back and once that's done just pop this back into place and we are good to go so guys that's pretty much it for the work we need to do let me quickly connect my ps3 and get back to you so guys clicking link one is going to take you to this page so we're gonna uh, go ahead and hit download now just scroll down and select download now go ahead and see uh, you get a file ps3 update without any dot pup just save it this file is about 190 megs guys the 4.11 update so uh let it get downloaded it's gonna take me about 20 minutes if i'm on a slow connection so once it's done, I'll get back to you guys. Uh, so guys, this file has been downloaded enough. So what I what we do next is take a thumb drive or an external hard drive or whatever, anything that's formatted to FAT32 and plug it into the computer. Uh, you don't need to actually format this right now. Just need to ensure that uh, right click properties, you know, shows that it's FAT32. So if that's the case, just go ahead and right now create a folder that says PS3 all caps without any space in between and inside 
and inside create another folder that says update and just uh, copy paste your ps3 update update dot uh, pop file in, in here okay now that's done let's move on to the ps3 all right guys i've just plugged in the uh, thumb drive into the uh, ps3 and uh, have the joystick connected with the cable and i'm just pressing the start and select buttons at the same time Alright, so hit start and select again for at least 5 seconds. Let it go. Alright, guys, now once the format is done, we end up at this screen. So uh, connect your joystick with the cable and hit the PS button. Hit X. So I know the uh, firmware will be flashed and we should be back up in a few minutes. There you go guys, we're back up and we are in the setup menu, so um, let me just quickly get the setup done. So that's pretty much it guys, the PS3 is up and uh, I've successfully swapped the hard drives. So uh, if you guys can please make sure that you uh, uh, hit the like button, like and subscribe buttons, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a comment if you can. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.